As both Charles and Prince William have widely commented publicly on the theme of climate change, Chris Ship, ITV News Royal Editor took to Twitter to mention how billboards have been erected in Glasgow ahead of the conference by anti-monarchy campaign group Republic blasting the royals as hypocrites. The billboards claim that the future leaders are hypocrites for their usages of helicopter flights, private jets, multiple huge homes and personal train while being so outspoken on the issue of climate change. Amid this wider row, Mr. Ship was then called out for the prevalent UK media coverage that discusses the use of private jets by Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, with Adrienne 088 writing, and Chris I actually agree but surely you know can see the blatant hypocrisy that the Sussexes experienced by mainly UK reporters. Not one reporter calling out senior royals' usage of jets, not one. However, the royal commentator hit back at the user to defend himself and the couple by writing, nor were Harry and Meghan criticized for taking private jets on official working business as I recall, while no one of sound judgment. So your point is a little lost on me. He further expanded on this in response to another user, by making reference to the usage of similar methods of transport used by U.S. President Joe Biden by writing, just as Joe Biden has used Air Force One and a long motorcade for the G20 summit. It's business, before adding, although they should all look at doing it more sustainably. In the other hand, Meghan and Prince Harry became producers of audio and video content at a time streaming giants were desperate for the next big thing, royal biographer Andrew Morton has claimed. The author of the updated book Meghan, A Hollywood Princess, told, talk about Prince Harry saying the stars were in alignment. The media's stars were in alignment. They were picked up by Netflix and Spotify at a time when all these streaming agencies were desperate for the next big thing and were prepared to pay a lot of money for it. Prince Harry spoke of stars being in alignment in relation to his love story with the Duchess during their engagement interview in November 2017. He said, The fact that I fell in love with Meghan so quickly was confirmation for me that all the stars were aligned. Everything was just perfect. Mr. Morton also noted Meghan and Harry's global popularity and status has made the world their court and helped them create friendship and gain access to many A-listers. He added, They got an address book that most people would die for. Meghan and Prince Harry announced they had signed a deal with Netflix in September last year, only a handful of months after they had officially stepped down as senior royals. This multi-year deal will see the Duke and Duchess create content that informs but also gives hope through their Archul Productions powerhouse, the Sussexes said at the time. The couple has remained tight-lipped on the size of the deal, but industry experts believe it could be worth several million dollars. In December, they also disclosed a partnership with Spotify for which they are to create podcasts featuring different perspectives and interviews with amazing people, as Meghan and Harry stated in their Archul audio trailer. Meghan and Harry have so far released only a festive special episode for Spotify, which featured an array of celebrities reflecting on 2020 and Archie's wishes for the new year. But they have also announced two shows for Netflix through their organization Archul. The first, Heart of Invictus, is a multi-episode production putting the spotlight on Invictus Games competitors ahead of the next tournament in 2022. The second, Pearl, is an animated series focused on the adventures of a young girl who finds inspiration from influential women throughout history. This series will have six executive producers, including Meghan and David Furnish, a Canadian filmmaker and Sir Elton John's husband. Prince Harry and Meghan discussed signing up deals with Netflix and Spotify during their landmark interview with Oprah Winfrey, broadcasted in early March. The Duke told the journalist these contracts were never part of the plan. He continued, We didn't have a plan. That was suggested by somebody else by the point of where my family literally cut me off financially, and I had to afford. Afford security for us. After Meghan and Harry stepped down as senior royals, they gained the freedom to pursue financially profitable deals as well as live abroad. Over the past few months, they didn't just become audio and video producers but have also stepped into the startup world. In December, it emerged Meghan had invested in instant latte firm Clever Blends. In March, Harry became chief impact officer at mental health and coaching company BetterUp. The pair have also become impact partners with sustainable investment firm Ethic. But, throughout the past months, they have also continued their charity endeavors and advocate work through their Archul Foundation.